the way the chair you're sitting on right now is embracing you exactly as you probably didn't even notice it, but the way the chair you're sitting on is embracing you exactly as you are. The chair doesn't wait. The chair is not waiting for you to deserve the embrace. The chair is the greatest. T I, I learn everything I know from chairs, <laughs> really. I'm actually serious about that. Chairs and cats. <laughs> and cats on chairs. It's the best combination. Um, the, the chair, it's not waiting for you to understand. It's not waiting for you to become perfect. It's not waiting for the transmission of the guru. It's not interested because it's love. It's, it's full, present love now. With, with, um, embraces you as you are, even with a feeling of restlessness or incompleteness, even a feeling of incompleteness. This, this, is, this is the crazy thing. Even a sense of incompleteness is divine. It would be like a, a scene in a movie where the main character feels incomplete. There's a, there's a scene where the main character feels incomplete, but that is a complete scene. It's a complete scene. There is nothing missing from that scene where the main character feels incomplete. The character feels there's something missing. But from the perspective of the scene, from the pers perspective of the screen, there's nothing missing because even the feeling that something's missing isn't missing. It's an expression of life. If only we were taught to see all these, everything within us as a div divine expression, that would be the end of violence. That's how you end violence in the world. That's what Krishnam Krishnamurti used to teach. Um, the end of violence within yourself. That's, and that's really what I'm teaching in a way is the end of violence. The, the subtle ways in which we turn against ourselves. And that's what becomes exhausting because it's not our nature. It's not our nature. And the exhaustion is intelligent. Well, that's what it's saying, this stop, this isn't your nature. Your nature is love. Nothing else is ever gonna work. Nothing ever worked for me, ever. I tr believe me, I tried everything. I tried everything. Many, many years ago, I was, uh, I, was, I was the world's most obsessed spiritual seeker. And then a few years later, I was convinced that I was the most enlightened human being on the face of the planet. <laughs> it didn't last long, but I, I was... Uh, and I, I started to see that even that, that was a... Um, there was violence in that. I was, sep I was separating myself again. I'm so enlightened and you're not. And then the, because it was an image, it's all just, Im they're all just images. It was just an image. It was just a role I was playing. We just play these roles and forget that they're roles. The, Im the role of the enlightened one or the role of the one who's pretending not to play a role. It's a great role. <laughs> but even that became, it, it was exhausting being enlightened, let me tell you. It was completely exhausting being enlightened. Having to wake up in the morning and be enlightened. I mean, that was exhausting. <laughs> because it was an image that I, on some level, unconsciously, I thought I had to live up to. It's so exhausting, having to live up to any image. That's what becomes so exhausting, is trying to live up to some image. <laughs> 